FM24 is finally here and I'm going to build a path to prestige. But first, we start at the bottom. And I do like to be beside the seaside. Hello everyone, Cambo Run here, and welcome to the main save of FM24. I'm calling this one Path to Prestige because Road to Glory is overrated and overused. So this is the first club, Western Supermare, in the National League South. Sponsored by McDonald's, I've just realised. So Western Supermare, yeah, they're called the Seagulls. They are, they've never really been higher than the National League. They were founded in 19, well, their official founding was in 1907, but they had to reform after the two world wars. I will rain check that. Uh, they currently play, yeah, the Optimus Stadium with 3,500 capacity built in the year 2000. Poor training, poor youth, fairly basic youth recruitment. We're not going to get a lot of youth stars out of this, so we've got a four, fourth, just over 4,500 as a wage budget and nothing in the transfer budget, which is about right for a uh, National League South team. We're going to be mostly running off loans and free, uh, free agents. We do have two trophies, which is the England Western Premier and the English Southern League Premier South. They've really, like I said, they've never really got to, like, further than the fifth tier. But we're going to change that. I at least want to get them into the, um... <clears throat> I at least want to get them into the League 2. So, the best 11 is here. We've got Jamie Sewell, who I've seen other people in FM24 series. This guy is basically really good um, at a certain level. So, hopefully he'll be really good for us here. If it actually does say that, four and a half stars, four star at this level. So we've got players like Dale Grubb, Opie Edwards, Dude. Oh, Dodd. I thought it was Dude. We also have one player on loan. We've got Harry Lee, who's on loan from Exeter City. I can see it all right on here. Work with the wage budget. Expand the stadium. That's... Okay, that's something that the board can take care of, expanding the stadium. Avoid relegation from the Vanarama South. Okay, be competitive in the FA Cup. We've got to do the qualifiers. I might try and get to the first round, but I don't know whether that would be possible. Be competitive in the FA Trophy, which of course another competition. Work towards avoiding banner on top sides, so top off finish. Okay, so they're not they're not really planning for much aside from being in the top half, which is weird. Support culture. Be competitive against Bath City and finish above Taunton. Okay. Send all of these. Not that I need them, but whatever. Uh, yes, no, we'll do these every fortnight, but then I never attend them anyway. Okay, that was just quickly out of the way for the save. High foreign armor season, supporter profile update. I mean, there are only supporters influence on board moderate. Social media, 888 followers, season ticket holds 205. Yeah, it's a very, very small club. Yeah, we'll accept that. Assume their players recently signed current. Oh, yes, everybody down here works on year-to-year -year contracts, so that's going to have to be something to sort out as we go. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, he's got a long history in the in the EFL. I vaguely remember that, yeah. He's been lost since Cheltenham a couple of years ago. So that will be interesting. Uh, great we will deal with that later. So I'm going to get all of these out of the way and then I will show you the tactic. Holy Christmas, I did not realize how hard this is going to be. So you join me on the tactic screen. Let me explain this. My best player, Jamie Sewell, and my only advanced forward is out for the season. He's, he's going to miss the season. That's six to eight months. That's basically all the way through. He's not going to be featuring. And he is the best player. So we've got to, ooh, we got to schedule a Swinner Supermarine. Chester and Honeyborough. Yeah, that's about right. I would kick off probably against Van Arm South. And the other problem is, this squad is not very large. I cannot even fill the subs bench. So, we are, our first game is on the... Oh, God, yeah, the 8th. So I've got five days... Uh... No, we're gonna we're gonna skip that. Great. I know how to sign players. 
So we've got five days. I need to really fill this squad. So. Yeah, why not? The other problem is we have no scouts. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the scouting department. Yeah. Case in point. And then... So we need to find both. And I think I might have missed that on the uh, box. So, yeah. so we're gonna I'm going to attend the England trial day, which I really need to uh, just, because otherwise we're gonna, like this squad is so fucking paper thin. Time out so far, one day, brilliant. So yeah, we, uh, Yeah, my biggest problem is I need to encourage the midfield. Yeah. Cool. Just make them. And I, I want to really improve the defense in the midfield. I think attack, if I can bring in so many good winners, that'd be great. But the big problem I have at the moment is I have do not like I do not have a good left back. My one sole left back, no one even knows what he's like. He's only 18. I think genuinely did we just pick him up off the street. Oh, did not notice you. Okay, that is good because I can now put him here. And he can be my deep line playmaker on support that I desperately need. There we go. And I push that back. And then we have more winning fielder on. Even one support. So that way we can actually have a proper 4 3 1, uh, 4 2 3 1. And then we have somebody who has two stars on the wings. And then we have somebody who is. I mean, he's pretty good. I have to learn to be a bird winger, though. Uh, and then we've got Ruben Reed up front as target forward. I need to try and fight couple of uh, proper oh there's <laughs> Mike Michael Mitchell from the long new paper the one guy I'm just clicking whatever the... hang on yeah first job is get a proper left back in but I need scouts where I can do that. So this is going to be fun. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can hire some scouts. Then we will join me in the trying to desperately offer players. So uh, give me a second. Right, the search for players. I have found a player, but I found a lot of issues. Primarily the fact that we have no money. One of the things I forgot is the Western Supermare are newly promoted, and I did research this and I meant to bring it up, is the Western Supermare were newly promoted last season. They're new to the Vanarama National South. So they don't have a lot of money. They, it is going to be a huge, huge struggle. We're going to need a, either a really good cup run or we're basically just going to need to straight get promoted. And considering, you go to the competitions, the preview... We're supposed to finish, I mean, pretty much close to the relegation spots. It's going to be really hard. We do have some good players. We did bring in one, Hayden Lindley, who is exceptionally good and will basically be my premier DM, my ball-winning midfielder going forward. Um, I got him from the England trial. I've approached loads of players in the England trial, but I can't get any of them because they all want, you know, £300-plus pound a week, and I can't afford that because I'm already over budget. The only thing I can do is I can try and loan list some of my... Uh, youth players, which I will probably do, 
and probably do that off the camera by the time we get to the first uh, game of the season. And then I will try and try and clear a little bit of the wage budget so I can get somebody in for like 200 quid a week. Because I cannot stress how much I do not have a particularly good, um, like a particularly huge squad. I can fill a subs bench, but so long as Sewell is injured, I've got a huge amount of problems. Um, there's also a few promises. I should probably check those out, actually. Because, yeah. It was all just improve the coaching staff, and I've got all the coaching staff. So, oh well, that's all pretty good. So, yeah. Oh, all, the, all the promises kept there. So, we are just going to move straight on ahead to the next um, friendly. Oh, so, we, we are a part-time club. So, all the unavailable, they don't have any... Uh, you see, this, this is fucking pointless, because... Uh, I'll show you the exact problem we got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was another one. It was the same problem. Um, he, he wasn't even asking for money. He wanted a 20 quid appearance fee every time he stepped. And I was like, no, we can't afford it. We can do one pound, which is stupid. So we, we don't think I can make that many incomings. I can try and get some uh, players off the books. But otherwise, we are going to have problems. Oh, never mind. So we're going to go play Nuneaton Borough. And we're hopefully going to... We have won the other two. We beat Swin and Supermarine 3-0, and we actually came back to beat Chester 2-1. It's pretty good. Oof. See, I've never started with a team this low before. So this is going to be a real challenge for me. I've been playing Full Magic since 12. I've not actually been playing that long. I was starting for FM22. And I've been playing with teams which are fully professional. Yeah, you'll be fine. Please don't get injured. I do not have any other goalkeepers. <clears throat> you know, I can try and get some loans in, but I can probably try and st uh, stalk the National League for them. But, uh, yeah. The, like the largest problem is going to be getting players in. I can't rely on free transfers because I want too much money because I am basically at a, te at a team that doesn't have a lot of finance. And we are... Ooh, nice. Yeah, and we are hopefully going to get something in, something in eventually, but it could be a big struggle. Oof, almost there. But we do have some good quality players. I think the biggest problem we have is that our wingers aren't particularly good. I might try and just push Grub out to the out to the wings and then try and bring somebody in at AMC. I can also try and like check out the youth team. I'm really gonna have to try and struggle to make this work, but we need a really good strong showing. Potentially a really good run in either the FA trophy or in the FA Cup. Hey. As otherwise we are going to struggle for the season. Come on. That was so well in the other other uh Ooh, that's good. The golf from See, Ruben Reed is... A, the, the, wait, don't... The, oh, he's only just offside. Only just. But we've been on top for this, so I'm kind of... I'm pretty happy. Oink. Well then, I, th I, I mean, I think this is going well so far. We're you know, 38 minutes in, we've had most of the ball. Yeah, it's, it's going to have to really work. I think my biggest problem is that we don't have another left back. We don't have, um, like, that much in the way of defenders. Our biggest problem is at the back. We've got plenty of midfielders, but we don't have anybody in the way of defenders. Strikes this way, sort out. It's fine. But we're running, we're running off a bunch of 30-year-olds in defense who... Like, on that great. <clears throat> they got this this guy, Kempster, here. Where is he? 
Bailey Kempster, he's 20 years old. He's my only left back. And he's own listed as well, which is hilarious. Now we went up to that. Come on, we're all over these guys. Should be beating them. But they are quite tired. It is it is difficult when you you don't really train regularly and you've had games every week. Nice. Rex Mannings gets the goal. Literally what I'm looking for, to, in, to be honest, is that I'm going to just play early crosses onto the head of Reed. Jackson, and we're going to put on Dodds, and then we're going to put on Humphreys. There we go. Ah, uh, some sure on the end of that. Seventy minutes in, yeah. Think just probably take off Lindley and get him fresh. Yeah, we should be alright. They yeah, they've not had a single one, they've not had a single shot. That's a shutout. Good interception, played in. And we just play key ball, it's fine. Oop. Yeah, you see, we. this is the huge problem, is that I don't have any money. So, the team look, I mean, the team looks quite strong, I will say. It looks good on paper. Keyword, on paper. So long as everybody stays fit. It's really annoying that Sewell is going to be out for the whole season. That seems, I mean, that's cruel on Sewell. But, yeah, we look good in preseason. We want all of our preseason games. Oh, my fucking God. How's it? That is my lone goalkeeper as well. And my other goalkeeper is 33 and is two stars. So, might as well look for another goalkeeper as well. Scouting. And yeah, he wants like, how can I only offer 20 quid a week? Oh, right, that's why. Yeah. Uh, we are not getting anywhere. I will have to either look for another loan or I'm... Okay, I was going to end the video there, but it was far too short. So we are going to play the first game of the season against Haventon Waterlooville. It will be a good example, chance to show just how far we are in terms of the squad. We do have obviously a problem with Harry Lee being broken out with a broken out with a broken finger. 
Uh, it is 12.30 on the Monday, by the way, so this is like an, a couple of hours before the video goes up. Um, we're going to go straight into the tactical meeting. Just, I'm not going to go positive for now. I want to see where we are. If we start taking a little bit of control in the game, I will start pushing further up. So the team we've got is Purnell, Kempster, Avery, Pope, Thomas, Lindley, Morton, Grubb, Mannings, Edwards, and Reed. Just so you're aware, Jacob... I think it's Jake. Yeah, Jacob Jagger Crane, I've listed him up for sale because he's only two and a half stars at 29 years old. He can just leave and we'll put all the money into the wage budget and try and get some free agents. So that's fine. I like the fact that I stack the rest of the substitutes bench with um, kids because I don't have enough subs. It's like a huge problem. I need to try and fucking get the players in because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Right, because I spent everything on Hayden and Lily, so. This is our first game of the season at home against Western Superman. Yeah, look. Five subs. It's not great. We were impressive in preseason, at least. We won every single preseason game. Good catch, to be fair. Good intercept. <coughs> oh, he might be off there from Oppie Edwards. No, it counts. Oh, wait, there's no VAR here, so if it, if it stands, it stands. No, he's being played on by the centre back. I was I was looking at the Kev. I've got the sun blaring down in my eyes, and I can't really see my laptop screen very well. I don't exactly have the most professional studio. I mean, I'm recording out of my uh, spare room for God's sake. I'm just gonna awkwardly close this door. Oh, we haven't scored again. Height professional isn't here, but I'm doing this last minute. Oh, there we go. Come on, we need to put on a good show. Because I need to fix the finances, so I don't just need to survive like you. I need to bloody, basically damn near win it or at least get promoted. I know, I know by the way how hard it is to get out of this league. There's like, you have to face a massive playoff round to get out of it, which is going to be incredibly unfun. Uh, fourth in the league, goal difference of one. So, oh. And nothing seems to be happening for the rest of the game for the moment. That's fine, so we'll go to the battle on the south. And then league. Do I really want to put the league table on? That's a good one through Manning. Oh, why did you play that ball behind? I've got early crosses on. Good interception from Oppie Edwards. That's a cool. That was that was frustrating. They played the ball behind Reed and could like Reed didn't do anything with it. Huge waste opportunity there. <coughs> yeah. Okay, that was a fun little triangle, but we really need to get the ball up the pitch. Oh, <laughs> Oof. Well, we're doing well. We're in control of the game, certainly. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that was crap.
good intercept, get it round him. Uh, that was fair play from Reed, but I think he really maybe should have tried to pass that in. Good header out. We need to get the ball away and come away with it. Good cat. Good catch to stop it from going out of play, actually. That looked like it was blocked on the way out. Try try and make some subs in a minute, but it's who I can bring on, to be fair. Because I obviously don't have a lot of substitutes. So. And I'll be Edwards gets a second. That's actually pretty good. That's, uh, this is going very well, to be fair. <coughs> Obie Edwards is only like two stars as well. And he's basically been outperforming so far. Ah, uh, Reed should be getting that. Kempster to Morton. Edwards. I mean, that's confident enough to have a pop there. Because, I mean, you've already got the brace, so why not go for another one? Oof. First substitution. So what we're going to do... We're going to move Grub out here. Put him on the wing. And then we're going to play James Dodd in. There we go. Good Mannings has been underperforming. Oh, that was, oh, shit. No, don't do that. Oh, certainly don't do that. Oh, no. Actually, got to set opponent instructions now. Good catch by Pernell. Is there anything that right back as well? Because I don't have another right back. Dodd, you should just shot that. It's from Shit's a giveaway. Really good for Pernell there to catch the ball. Saw the danger and rushed out immediately. Really silly corner to give away that from having Waterloo Hills perspective. But four minutes out of time, okay. Well, he didn't get carded, but, uh, um, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, now he's all right. 
put the magic sponge on him, I guess, at this level still. But this is a nice block. Come on. Ooh. Grub was waiting. If you get another goal here and seal it, that'd be wonderful. Almost. Right, well, we're putting the pressure on, so we should be able to win the opening game of the season, which is good because we basically won the... Yeah, there we go. Two goals from Oppie Edwards basically get us the win in the end. So, I mean, look at that. 15 shots to 8, 7 to 3. They got one goal. Good win. We were completely dominant as well, which is excellent. It's a good start. It puts us in a, in a pretty strong position. What's the lead? We are sixth because we don't exactly have the best goal difference. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, let's go talk to Mike Mitchell then. Yes, Mike. Hello. It's nice to see you. This is this is literally going to be the only guy who's probably going to be in the press conference for the whole time. Uh, so we're going to move ahead one really quickly. Yeah, it's fine. So we've got another week, and then we're playing Tombridge Angels. It's two hundred and five season tickets. Jesus. So. I'm going to try and shift off Jacob Jagger Crane and then use that money to go into the wage budget to try and get some players in. And then... Yeah. Work from there. Just checking something. Uh, so what what I'll do is I'll play Tom Bridge off camera and we'll come back from Bath City and Slough and that'll be like the second episode for tomorrow. And then we'll see, we'll carry on from there because I'm just concerned about being able to get players. And I know the transfer window is a constant going thing, but while my budget is so low, it might be a huge problem. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cambet Run, and thank you for watching.